Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we are taking a look at the two new Man of the Match cards that have dropped on the game. The first one, Marco Reus, and then the second one that I have actually picked up and it is Bagumbu. Now what happened last night is that he was released at 12 o'clock, so it was very, very late. I waited for his price to settle at 145,000 coins so I didn't lose any money. Purchased him. As soon as I finished playing the games, I sold him on and he dropped to 90,000 coins. Even when I try and wait for players to settle out, I still lose coins. I don't know how to work that one out but it does i've sold him on already though but yeah i lost like 60 odd k <laughs> so if you could drop a like on the video that'd be much appreciated but we're gonna get into it today if you are needing ultimate team coins to afford him or then go out and purchase marco royce head over to fifa ultimate team coins.com links below in the description use the code fuji for a discount or if you're wanting to purchase new games maybe tom clancy the division head over to g2a and also use the code fuji so the team i rocked with when using cedric bakambu was a 352 team now one of the reasons why I didn't bring in players like Benzema or really good inform ones is because I didn't want to overshadow his performance. When you're using a good player that you've brought in with team of the years and that, it won't feel as good. So I wanted to see uh, and, and feel like what he could do with the team, whether or not he could carry it. And he put in a good performance, like a couple of good performances. Really, really enjoyed him. So his first upgraded card, I liked anyway. And the stats that have been increased from that one to the man of the match, we've got 86 pace to 87, which is all right. 77 shot to 81 which is a great increase 71 passing to 73 80 dribbling to 82 35 defense to 36 and 76 physical to 78 so overall for 80,000 coins that you're spending on back and because that's what he's set up right now he looks like a promising card and some of his in-game stats are actually really really nice he reminds me i'm saying it now he reminds me of a cheap drug but in his prime so remember when Drogba used to just bully, bully players, get that pace, latch onto balls, just use his physicality to get the goals. And he had a little bit of skill, didn't do too much skill, but he, he had the, the, little, the little cutbacks and that. And I think Bakambu, his, his dribbling is all right in certain areas. So yeah, I think we're ready to see what he's like on the pitch. Let's go. So there is no reason for me to be biased in any way whatsoever, because even if I give a good review, I've already sold him. If I give a bad review, I've already sold him. So I've lost coins anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I wanted to be honest with you guys. And although he is a very, very good player, he's got the pace, like I was saying about his physicality, he's quite strong on the ball. Not the strongest I've ever played with, but he is quite strong in, in positions where if it's like a 50-50 and there are two players trying to sandwich him, he can burst out of that and get through with the ball, which is fantastic. Really, really good for your side. Shooting-wise, though, very impressive going through using the finesse taking shots early uh, uh, long shots as well like he's got pretty much the full package i've also left in some offside goals that i just wanted to show you not only for his positioning sometimes he get he runs a little bit offside when he's trying to take up positions in the box when he's actually running and making the runs he's okay with that so yeah just keep that in mind but his actual technique to take volleys on headers on as well he's he's very very good in the air he's actually a really really good striker but when it comes to dribbling i think that unless you're unless you're doing the no touch and you get through like that when you're trying to turn him he does feel a little bit sluggish but every player feels sluggish at a certain time in the game so it depends how you maneuver him more or less but he can do like some pullbacks and that just to uh, position himself into better positions to actually take the shots on. And overall, I really, really enjoyed the man of the match back and boo. Like he's, he's definitely a, a player to go and take a look at. But 80 to 90,000 coins, I would probably say that he, if you could get him 50k, which I think that's what he's going to drop to, it would be a good purchase because he's got some incredible upgraded stats and he just feels very well rounded now. And, and you can easily link him up in the, in the BBVA. Is he better than Benzema? Probably not. Is he better than Griezmann? Probably not, but he can offer you just the different style. Like, if you want to bully your way through, then he's going to be able to do that. And back and boo is for you. <laughs> but yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed, please drop a like. That would be much appreciated because I have lost coins on him. If you want me to really take a look at Royce, I'll do my best to get some coins together and uh, go out and afford him. But as soon as I purchase these players, I lose coins, which is annoying. But guys, let me know if you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys.